Mike's up. Bronx Arts Middle. This is your principal bringing you your news for today, Tuesday, February 26, 2019. Today is a B day. At Bronx Arts Middle, we have something called the method, artist process, followed by growth mindset. Don't forget those visual thinking strategies and artist palette. All of that then followed by the Bronx Art Soaring Scholar. And remember, we are in the middle of a base blitz again. Sometime this week, there's going to be a blitz, so just make sure you are earning all of your base points. And let's move along now to talk a little bit about our school and data. This is going to be a departure of our regular lights up, but I want to talk to you about what we're doing in all of your core academic classes and an upcoming change. Our school is measured upon four areas to be a successful school. They measure our attendance, our state ELA, ELA score, state math scores, and of course performances because we are an art school. That's right, we're an art school, which is why I sometimes say this shouldn't be a big deal, like getting up to do a cheer at community meeting. But I digress. Anyway, so we took a mock back in January and a mock was a practice test. And what we want to do is we want to show you the percentage of passing students, percentage of passing scores for each of the standards. You know, in each uh, academic class, there are standards that the state says we must meet and they want to make sure that you are proficient, meaning good, that you can master that standard. The four most common are the ones listed right there with all those little letters that you really don't need to know about. But just to show you where we are, you can see from 44% all the way down to 28%. That's our level of mastery. Kids who are passing at this standard. That's for ELA. And for math, here are the, stand the passage rate for each standard. You can see lowest five, highest 47. So, what does that mean for us? Well, a school is considered to be a high achieving and proficient school if you are at 80%. 80% is our goal. Now you saw those numbers previously. That means we have work to do. So here's the plan and this is how we do it. We have each of you complete something now in all of your classes, time of your due now. These are your core academic classes where you answer a question daily and your answer puts you in a group and then you complete an activity in that group. That is our data and action and we are tracking to see your level of mastery. Why do we do this? Well, we do this because research has proven that small group instruction works, that it's the best way to get students up to speed and understanding the material. That's why we're doing it. Now, as an art school, each of the arts has a standard to meet as well. We're not gonna go too much into that, but just so you know, we have now regrouped you into groups of ability that are going to be the best for your performance. We are meeting you where you are, and we are going to work with you in our arts, just as we work with you in our academics. What that means is we have completed some schedule changes, and those will be passed out by your advisor at the conclusion of Lights Up. So let's get to work, scholars. What you need to remember is from now on until we get past the state test is that you need to do all of the activities in your classes. Every day we are tracking your mastery level. That is how we're going to support you. Follow your new schedule. Persevere through the challenge. Remember, we're a growth mindset school, so we persevere. We don't give up. And lastly, you will succeed. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we are going to achieve our goal. Now let's move to our call board for announcements. Remember that during transition, base points will be deducted in the transitions and in the cafeteria when scholars are not following our expectations. And before you go each day, remember, chairs up so we can get the floors clean. Tuesdays, your base cards go home. That means Wednesday, they are signed by a parent and returned. And today, there's a company meeting for the Wizard of Oz, second period in the community space. This is for all members of the company. If you are part of the documentary crew or any kind of design, Check in with your first period, your, your second period teacher, and then make your way to the community space for the company meeting of Wizard of Oz. After school today, we have Capoeira from 4.15 to 5.15. They meet in the dance studio. And lastly, remember, you'll never get smart without art. Have a great day, everyone.